How does Captain America's shield return to him after he throws it? The first thing that probably comes to your mind is that Captain America installed a magnet in his hand. I commend you for that brilliant guess. He actually did use a magnet in the movie Age of Ultron, but that was the only time they used it. The truth is, the entire process relies on calculating the angle of deflection and the force of the rebound. Yes, my friend, it's the physics and dynamics you didn't study in high school. If you throw a ball at a wall, naturally, the ball will bounce back at a certain angle. If you have experience, like playing squash, you can predict exactly where the ball will return. In Cap's first mission, when he was still a beginner and threw the shield at Red Skull, the shield didn't come back. But with time and training, Cap became able to calculate the angle and the rebound force with incredible precision, to the point where he can throw the shield at a certain angle that allows it to take down an entire plane. Furthermore, the shield itself is made of vibranium, a metal that absorbs shocks and returns them as if it were a rubber ball. This means that every time Captain America throws the shield, he performs complex calculations to determine exactly where the shield will return. It's clear that the super soldier serum didn't just give him muscles. It gave him terrifying geometric intelligence.